Hello, fellow weirdos. I'm gonna play a new game today. Um, I wanna say right off the boot <laughs> that uh, I don't care how the rest of the game goes. I just love this uh, welcome screen and the pulpy adventure music and all that. And this game was uh, very generously provided by the developer and I have no idea what's gonna happen. Onward! You wanted to give me a progress report? Yes, the installation is now complete. Does this mean that you are ready to begin production? It does indeed. We will start immediately. Excellent. My plans are progressing most satisfactorily. Now we only need to obtain the final piece of the puzzle. Then the whole galaxy shall be mine. We mine. Bye. 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 Hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> Did we forget to pay our space bills again? I mean, really, come on, people, work with me here. <laughs> Said Pay Said Pay Zero Bit Are you listening? Of course I am listening. I am an advanced computer with a nanobot based neural network, gigaquads of memory, and more especially a highly tuned oral processing unit. I cannot stop listening. If I could stop listening, I would have a long time ago. Rather, I have been choosing to ignore you while you blather on about your new diet. Uh, well, I'm going to heat up some chocolate and get ready for bed anyway. As I was telling you, heavy chocolate consumption immediately before sleeping really isn't good for you. It's a diet recommended by a doctor, I'll have you know. Doc Chuck is not a real doctor. He's from a children's TV show. Even so, it's my chosen diet. The captain knows best. Rarely, if ever, true. But still, I need you to make a decision. What, before bedtime? <laughs> you mean a real, non-food related decision? Look, we need to get a paying job. The ship needs repairs. I need an OS update. And you, well, <laughs> you need a haircut. Uh... Okay, show me the available jobs. Uh, we're going to need to find the manual. Please excuse me. I was sipping my strategic coffee. Okay, uh, da -da 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 -da, right click to look. They are crumpled bits of paper. I wish I could get the space broom to overcome his fear of taking the lift. <laughs> Ooh. It's years of <coughs> slime from many meals and snacks. Even an intrepid space hero needs to eat. I didn't have enough money to get something decent, so I bought the cheapest food replicator I could find. It has very few options, and it can't heat up what it produces, but it's enough to keep me alive between space stations. Is it the toaster? No. My super duper captain's chair! <laughs> Was this uh, like the cheapest option as well? <gasps> it's a red button. Well. I'd better leave it alone. I've long forgotten what it does. Oh. Containers from an old meal. I'm going to leave it alone. Are you now? Another book I've never read. Yoink. It's the manual for the computer. 
My only means of communicating with the great outdoors. Take it. Not right now. Oh, What's that, Seymour? It's a plant from the Ungro Hippo system. <laughs> when he's not sleeping, he's always asking me to feed him. Uh -huh. I don't want to feed him while he's sleeping. Oh. So much good candy. Sleepy now. Bye bye. Before I go on, I would like to say that my editor brain approves the brevity of texts. My occasionally useful and intermittently efficient computer zero bit. ZB for short. Z, hey? My occasionally useful. Okay. It's a stack of books. Take them. Take them? I uh, haven't read them. <laughs> no reason to start now. Aww. I uh, haven't read them. No reason to start now. Dude. They are crumpled bits of paper. I wish I could get the space broom to overcome his fear of taking the lift. Oh, now I get it. The space broom is like a janitor or character or whatever. I was just gonna wonder where does he sleep. <laughs> ah, so I can willfully bring him out of the slumber. Okay, let's see now. What's this? Ooh. It's like a tricorder, only better. <laughs> Sound recorder, magnet, Geiger counter, and bottle opener. You don't say. Wow. I just need to push one of the buttons to switch between modes. Oh my god, the planet! It's the manual for the head-up display. Well, can I read it? Oh, I have to use it with something. Also, let's see, can you move from the screen? I have no idea what these do. Mm. Okay, let's see. Well, I'd better leave it alone. I've long forgotten what it does. The ever useful head up display. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'll examine this. Okay, let's see. Page number. Ah, it's been ripped out. Uh oh. I'll just have to do my best to remember. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, Re memorizing words and numbers. Fuck. We are fucked. We are officially fucked. Paragraph 2, page 14. Is that the one that's ripped out? <laughs> okay. From the Mars station to the Bernard star system, we have some small fairy creatures we would like to get rid of. Oh, they look cute! Ideally, the delivery craft should have an expandable cargo bay. Has the ship ever had an expandable cargo bay? I guess not. Next. From the Flanian High Council to Maglophia. Payment in Pobble Beads. Deliver plans for a new planet with more fuels than any other planet ever. Ooh. Not a bad goal for a planet. Next. From Alderman to Dagobah. Payment in training offered as barter. This is the job you're <laughs> looking for. Bring cookies and pizza, you must. I have a strange feeling about this. Like, I must take this job. Oh no! You weak minded fool. He's using an old. Oh, never mind. Next! 
from Favoski Spiner to your place, looking for friendship and maybe more. <laughs> Must have own spaceship and teeth. Next. Next. From Actuous One to Favoski's Major. Questionable package from mysterious person Ooh. to be delivered to a place potentially dangerous to humans, especially space captains. Entirely safe for Starship computer systems. This one's perfect. <laughs> I don't know. For crying out loud, you need a job. But I don't really want... Yes, you do. Take this one. I'll press it for you. Oh no! Okay, whatever you say, ZB. <sighs> right, I'm going off to bed. Ah, so he has a bed elsewhere as well. Okay. Set a course for Actress One, Captain. Hmm. As much as I love the power, I'm rather attached. No, make that literally attached to the starship. It's not a very good idea to have such a pushover at the helm. I had better try that learn to be assertive while you sleep mm -hmm. thing again. You are the main man. I am the main man. What you say goes. What I say goes. Be decisive. And you will enjoy life more. Uh, Be ooh, it's the decisive. Now is the time to act on what you want to do. <laughs> what this I Computer, want this to might not be the best time to get him decisive. Right, ZB, I want you to transport when I say the word cash card. Uh, are you sure that's the trigger word <laughs> you want to use? Of course. What could go wrong? With Indeed. you? Anything. No arguments from you. No going back. When I say the word, you begin the transport sequence immediately and refuse to cancel it whatever happens. You got that? Sheesh. That learned assertiveness oh, while you yeah. sleep course really kicks in at the worst moments. Okay, I will agree to your senseless demands. I should think so too. Anyway, it's not like I'm going to say cash card before I picked up everything else on it. Transport sequence initiated. Dun dun uh, dun. Uh, uh, you know what I said earlier, it didn't quite come out like I meant it to. Whoops. <laughs> Uh -oh. Well, I've been in worse situations before. Hello. Does this guy have like and a really welcome to Arcturus long nose? Long. I hope you have a pleasant stay on our planet. Actually, I don't. But it's in my contract that I have to say that. Arcturus One was supposed to have a proper visitor center, but we ran out of budget. So now the customs office doubles as a meet and greet center for new visitors to the planet. Stick to the rules, and I shouldn't need to cause you much pain. Please, take a seat. The local language will be downloaded into your brain. Okie dokie. Stay out of trouble, and you have to see the inside of one of these cells. Oh dear, Oopsie. the machine has broken down again. <laughs> won't be able to get it fixed anytime soon. Budget problems. <laughs> it did manage to download the language into your brain speech recognition center. You will be able to understand what people say here. You will find that only robots and the saleswoman in the speedo showroom can speak English. Oh no! And myself, of course. Oh, I am required to speak many languages. But how will I make myself understood to the natives? I'm sure you will figure something out. I see. <laughs> I should explain something to you. The Acturan language is strange. 
Virtually every cell means something. Uh -oh. So even if you go around making random noises, you will have communicated. Uh -oh. This may, of course, not be a good thing. You think? Oh, Come no. in, ZB. It's not working at the moment. Oh no. I need to contact my ship. There's been a bit of a mix up. Why is my communicator not working? Arcturus 1 has a force field around the whole planet. It prevents any unauthorized communication or transportation to or from the planet's surface. But I have a job transporting the package to Proboscis Major. I'll need to transport both it and myself off the planet. And if I can't get the instructions on how to locate the package from my ship's onboard computer, I'll never find it. That is indeed a puzzle. Oh no! <laughs> oh, our very first dialogue! Oh my god! Why is my communicator not working? Arcturus 1 has a force field around the whole planet. It prevents any unauthorized communication or transportation to or from the planet's surface. Ooh. Can you authorize me to communicate with my ship? Not without someone from the planet who is prepared to vouch for you. Oh, no. oh. Well, I'd better go and find a friendly native who will vouch for me then. Just one thing. Mechanical life forms cannot vouch Aww. for organics and vice versa. Which might be difficult considering you cannot speak the language. Again I ask, why can't life ever be easy? Because the galaxy is a cruel and unforgiving place. I'm going to need to transport something off the planet's surface. You will need the correct forms authorised by the correct authorities and handed in at the correct time along with the accompanying correct fees. Right. <gasps> fees. Would you be the correct person to get these forms from? I am the correct person, but I am not in the correct mood to help oh, no. you. If you find a way to put me in a very correct mood, I may be able to help you with the transporter tags without all the paperwork. Are you asking me to bribe yeah. you? Yeah! Are you asking not. for a bribe? Don't be foolish. So, you don't want me to find something very valuable and give it to you in return for transport tags? I didn't say that. <laughs> right. Oh, it's like, oh, don't stop now. What exactly are these transport tags? They are tags that allow you to transport yourself or cargo off the planet. Without them, nothing leaves the planet. Is there no other way to get stuff off the planet's surface? No. Or, there is one way. What? Being vaporized. Technically, that is a way of leaving the planet. <laughs> I bet this will be important later. What sort of things are there to do on Acturus 1? Acturus 1 is a hive of activity for tourists and a really exciting place. Obviously. Actually, there is very little to do. The fact that a rubbish dump is one of our main attractions says it all, really. A rubbish dump, you say? Can you tell me more about the rubbish dump? The rubbish dump in Acturus 1 is quite special. You can find the wrecks of many famous Ooh. ships there. You can find some amazing components there sometimes. There is also a mysterious obelisk in it, which every so often is surrounded by noisy monkeys. <laughs> no one has ever managed to work out why. I guess I should also mention that the planetary dampening field is partially disabled there for the sake of the dump workers' equipment. Do you mean I can use my communicator and transport things off the planet from there? You may be able to use your communicator if you have the right model. If you have a quad corder, some of the functions might work there. Ooh. But you cannot transport anything off the planet without transport attacks. I think we have our first mission outlined for us. Also, I bet the uh, dumping grounds are rife with all sorts of uh, wink wink nudge nudges. Alright. Well, I've got to be going now. Come back when you become more interesting. Aww, it's just rude. It says, Visit beautiful Beaumont, a truly serene getaway. Have the wash of your life in the River Tam. Sounds nice. The purple fireflies look lovely anyway. 
too much, dude. <laughs> Reminder to staff, jelly aliens are considered illegal contraband under all circumstances. Galactic Hyperspace Planet Council plans for building hyperspace express route through a star system of the outer lying regions of the western spiral arm of the galaxy postponed indefinitely. Huh. Okay. I guess reality is going over we a little Lost. bit. Lost. Rovovar membership card. Lost had it in marketplace. I see. And... Starfleet recruiting, recruiting red, red shirts, shirts now! Dude! Step away! It's a trap! Oh gosh, now I'm doing it. Okay, uh, I think we have had quite enough excitement for one episode. I'm going to stop recording here and carry on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye!